London is one of the most expensive cities in the world. Dating in London can be a very luxury thing to do. Living here for three years, I always explore London and look for cool but affordable things to do and places to go. Today, I will take you to the most trendy part of East London and talk about how you can plan an affordable, low-key but memorable date. Number one, Columbia Road Flower Market. Columbia Road Flower Market is probably the most well-known flower market in London, and people from all over the city flood in here every Sunday to get the best deals for the fresh flowers and plants. You can find almost any flowers you need. There are also cute little shops on Columbia Road selling gardening products and handcrafted goods. Come here for some flower shopping or appreciating. Grab a nice coffee. Take a walk in this nice neighborhood. It's simply a lovely, low-key date on a lazy Sunday. Number two, IFS cable car. One of the most romantic things is to bring your date in the sky and enjoy the scenery of the whole city. And you can do this by taking the IFS cable car. The cable cars link the Greenwich Peninsula on the south side of the river and the Royal Victoria Dock on the north side. Each car can fit about six people, but if you're in a group of two, you can choose to occupy the whole car, which is perfect for your lovebirds. The best time to take it, I think, are at the sunset on a clear day or in the evening when the lights are all lit up. You can overlook London's many landmarks like the Canary Wharf area, the City of London, Thames Barrier, etc. The journey costs only under five pound, and you can simply use contactless card to get in. Number three, V&A Young Museum. If you like visiting museums, one fun museum in East London to visit on a date is the V&A Young Museum, also called V&A Museum for the Children. Inside this elegantly grand building hall, there are over a million collections of children's toys, games, and costumes. Here you can find an incredibly wide range of model houses, puppets, and Barbie dolls. It's truly a heaven for the children, but it's also an interesting way to get to know your date through the childhood toys, and you will never come to an awkward silence in this joyful atmosphere. Number four, Dalston Eastern Curve Garden. This cute little garden is a hidden oasis tucked away in Dalston. Situated on the disused Eastern Curve railway line, it's completely free to wander around. There's a really nice cafe inside, and you can enjoy the coffee and fresh food in the seating areas among the shrubberies. Contrary to the busy high street outside, once you're in the garden, things slow down and become so peaceful. If you want to give your date a little surprise, bring him or her here, where you can have a good conversation. Sometimes there are also live music shows and other events in the evening. Number five, Regent's Canal. If you're bored of grabbing a coffee on the first date, why not try go for a walk along Regent's Canal? I think it's a nice way to get to know a person. Regent's Canal is a long walk from West London all the way to the east. Depending on how the conversation goes, you can end the journey at any point. Or you may find yourself enjoying a nice coffee or drink. In East London, the section in Hackney is particularly peaceful. Number six, Victoria Park. Along the canal, you can walk directly into Victoria Park, which is the most loved park in East London, and it was originally constructed for the East End working class. This park is huge, plenty of spaces for picnics, running, or walks. There are several ponds, children's playground, and a Chinese pagoda. Every Sunday morning, there's a market for fresh produce and street food. Number seven, Brick Lane Market. Another good spot for low-key Sunday date is the Brick Lane Market. Brick Lane is known as the British Bangladesh community. Today, it's famous for its fashion. The vintage clothes, the street art, and the Sunday market. There are plenty of affordable street food to try as well. There's a bagel shop that draws people from all over London. 
There's my favorite hot chocolate in London, dark sugars. Definitely try it if you come here in winter. It has some very exotic flavors like white matcha and white saffron. The best part is the general shavings of chocolate for the final toppings. There's just so much to explore that will inspire endless topics, whoever you come here with. Number eight, Old Spitalfield Market. Not far from Brickland Market is Old Spitalfield Market. It's well known for the antiques, bric-a-brac, and craft stalls. It's also heaven for the foodies. Here you can find really authentic street food from around the world. Plenty of clothing shops are here in this area too. Whether you're on a date or with friends, Old Spitalfield Market is always fun to check out. Number nine, Abney Park Cemetery Walk. The last one is a hidden gem. In London, there are seven Victorian garden cemeteries called Magnificent Seven. You may know Highgate Cemetery or Brompton Cemetery, but there is one which is a bit different and less well known, Abney Park. It's located in Stoke Newington. It's more overgrown and wild than the others, and was used as a filming location in Amy Winehouse's video *Back to Black*. It might not be appropriate for the first date, but if you're looking for somewhere to get more intimate, then here you go. It's also free to visit. I hope this video is helpful for you to plan your next date in East London, or if you're just visiting London and want to explore the east side of the city. I might do another video for other parts of London too. If you enjoy videos of fun activities in London. Please check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.